Dale asks, I'm working on a show that has ravens flying over mountains filmed on a cloudy, overcast day. The client wishes to see that as a fairly blue sky scene. I tried using draw mask to separate the mountains from the sky, then use tracker to follow a pan in the shot. <laughs> but I'm not doing very well with it. And the answer is, it's impossible to do well with this shot. Let me show you the problem and some solutions. Here's the source clip. It's a gray day. It's foggy. We've got a lot of mist. Even if I had a perfect delineation with the mountains, and I don't, there's no way this could be a clear blue day because I've got all this haze and high overcast. So we can make it better. There's a couple things that we can try. First, let's select our clip, go up to the color inspector, and let's turn on color wheels and double click this to make it go full screen. First thing that I want to do is hide the library and show scopes. And let's pull our black levels down to something which is usable right about there. And we'll take our highlights and pull them up until we get something that actually looks like we can see what the heck is going on. So now we've got a better look at our mountains. At the very least, that makes things better. But I've got a lot of blue here, so I'm going to grab this blue. The opposite of blue is yellow, so I'm going to add some yellow and take it out of the shadows to give myself a little bit more of a, a greenish tinge. And then I know the color of the sky is right about here, a third of the way between blue and cyan, and we'll add that into the midtones and drag that towards sky blue, right about there. Pull our shadows down just a bit more. So this is before, and this is after. Just by using the color wheels, we can make things better. But there's an additional tool you might want to think about. I'm going to double-click this dot, which resets it. Double-click the dot. And now I'm going to apply an effect by going to the Effects menu and apply an effect called Custom LUT and drag that on top of the clip. A LUT does actually a numerical operation on the numbers that represent the video pixels. And makes it instantaneous, does not require rendering, brews coffee, can make some really interesting things happen. Let me illustrate. Go back to the video inspector, go to custom LUT, and let's say, let's suggest, oh, aggressive. Oh, that's pretty dramatic. It's not going to be a blue sky day, but it's going to really emphasize those ravens. Or, Ava, not quite as sharp as aggressive. I could make it a beat scene, yeah, I could. Don't want to do that. Maybe I want to go down to golden. Yeah, take some of the blue out of the sky. I also like rolling wheels. Oh, that's kind of dramatic. And I get a better edge delineation on the mountain. As we play this back, we see our ravens wheeling. The mountains cast in a blue feeling. It gives us much more of a blue sky feeling. And the nice thing about LUTs is that they don't require rendering. They live between the hard disk and Final Cut and process the image at such a core fundamental level that the image comes up pre that the image comes up pre-rendered when you apply a LUT. It's really quite magical. We can't make the fog disappear. We can't make the clouds disappear. We can't turn this into a blue day, blue sky day, but we can make it look a whole lot better using the color wheels or a lot. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 378. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours 
on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software when you update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.